Hello, handsome. Have you noticed how over the past 10 years, streaming services have seemed to take over everything? Do you remember when you had to go down to the store to buy a DVD or a CD instead of just getting everything through an app? Do you ever just wanna leave your life behind and live in the mountains as a crazy old hermit? Well, before you start your journey, I wanna to talk to you about why it's so important to own your favorite music physically and other forms of media as well. I wanna start off by saying that I use and enjoy different streaming services for different things. However, there are a lot of negative aspects to them as well. In this video, I wanna give you five reasons why, now more than ever, you need to start buying your favorite music physically, even if it's just a little at a time. I'm also gonna go ahead and give you my main point first, because it's the entire reason I made this video. Leave a like if you dig the video, and let's get started. So I wanna give a little preface to this video before we get going, kinda of give you some context as to why I'm even talking about this in the first place. This discussion over owning physical media has been going on for a little while now, and it was really brought to my attention by the video game community. People have been discussing how it's really difficult to play a lot of the classic games that they used to love growing up. Let's take Nintendo for example. Something that Nintendo does is they withhold releases of a lot of their classic games, and if they do actually release them, it's going to be on a subscription-based service. They're also very against emulation. So if I wanna play this older game that I love, how am I supposed to? Well, you have to either own it or buy it physically somewhere. The deeper I dug, I found that this was a really big discussion in the film community as well. People who are really passionate about movies have been talking about how you really need to own a lot of your favorite movies on DVD or some other physical format. Especially with how shoddy streaming services are nowadays, it seems like a lot of these services will, at random, just put movies on their platform and take them back off. Plus with movies especially, if you have multiple streaming services, it can get expensive really quickly. This discussion has been happening for TV shows and even book lovers too. So now I wanna go ahead and get into my first point on why you need to start owning some of your favorite music physically. My first point is just that, ownership. When you own an album on CD, vinyl, or even tape, no one can take it away from you. It can't be taken off of a streaming service or lost on an old computer. If I wanna to listen to rumors, I don't have to worry about, you know, Fleetwood Mac's legal agreement with Spotify or some weird issue with their copyright. I can just listen to it. This happened recently with Neil Young and Joni Mitchell. They decided to take their music off of Spotify. So if you want to listen to their music, you either have to own it physically or go elsewhere for it. By owning a physical copy of an album, it will always be available to you. There's this push in the digital age where it seems like companies don't want you to own anything. You pay them a certain amount every month and then they control what you have access to. And if they decide they wanna remove something, well then you're SOL. However, there is a convenience to streaming that's tough to beat and that's why I still use services like Spotify. Although I'm not going to rely on streaming services alone to ensure that I have access to my favorite media. I think this is the number one reason why you really need to start buying even some of your favorite music physically. However, there are some other more fun reasons as well and I'm gonna go ahead and go into them now. I would say the second reason is collectability. I touched on this a bit in my vinyl video that I just did. However, it is really nice to have a collection. I have a bunch of CDs and vinyl records of various albums that I like. However, some people may go beyond that and own like every copy of an album by their favorite artist. Collectability can even be something like buying on multiple formats. You may wanna have some albums on CD, some on vinyl, and even some on tape. This is definitely easier to do now, now that there's a big resurgence with vinyl records, and they're even printing a lot of newer albums on tape as well. There's this comfort in having a collection of your favorite music, and again, having ownership over that media that you really, really love. There's a really personal aspect to it too, and can be a reflection of your personality. I think it also helps because of option paralysis. If I'm on Spotify or YouTube, I will immediately forget everything that I like listening to. But when I have my CD or record collection in front of me, it's way easier to pick from a limited selection. Plus it is a lot of fun to go through your collection and look at a lot of the extras that you don't get from just streaming. Which leads me to my third point. The third reason you should start buying some of your favorite music is all of the extras that you get from physical media. 
This can be anything from the art on the back or inside cover to lyric books or even extra information about the artist. I think that the art you get on physical media is one of the biggest benefits of buying your own music. On streaming services, or on Spotify at least, you don't get to see the back cover of a lot of your favorite albums. Just look at this Led Zeppelin album. You get the full album art and the art inside the gatefold. It's really cool to look at this stuff while you're listening to the album. You can even get different art depending on the format that you buy the music in. I remember on some of the Tool CDs, they had like these lenses that made the album art 3D. In regards to lyrics, streaming services have started putting a lot of lyrics on their apps. However, it's not gonna be as thought out as a lot of artists will when they put it in a, you know, a vinyl record book or even a CD. And you won't get lyric books all the time, but they are a nice addition when they're there. And then sometimes you'll also get, like I said, information about the artist or album or other little Easter eggs. The fourth reason is a little less about the experience, but when you buy an album physically, you are supporting the artist financially. Streaming services famously pay artists very little, so when you buy a physical copy of their album, they get a much bigger cut. Obviously, if you buy used, they're not gonna get anything, but if you buy a t-shirt or an album off their website, for example, they will be able to get more than they would from a streaming service. Plus, if you buy through a local record shop, you're gonna be supporting them as well, which is a huge benefit. I have a local record shop where I live that I really love, and it's great just to go down there and browse and buy stuff. My fifth and final reason for buying music physically is I think it really just helps you kind of value the music a little bit more. When you spend your money on a specific album, you're going to end up valuing it more. Plus, sitting down with physical media will force you to kind of pay attention a little more, which you may not as much when you just throw it on streaming. Generally, if you are going to listen to something on vinyl or CD, you're gonna have a little more of an active listening experience than just kind of throwing on something in your car on the way to work. I think it also helps with instant gratification. I think nowadays in the digital era, everything is so at our fingertips that we tend to take a lot of stuff for granted. But when you finally save up or get your hands on that album that you've been really looking forward to or that you love, it does mean that much more. I mean, that goes for a lot of things in life, but it goes the same for music as well. I think it really is important to own a lot of your favorite music physically. So those were my five reasons on why I really think that you need to take the time and money to own a lot of your favorite music physically. I want you to let me know in the comments down below if you agree with my points or if you have your own reasons as to why you are a music collector. I also wanna shout out the YouTube channel Films at Home who discusses this topic a lot, but with movies. I discovered their channel while writing this video and really, really like their videos. I'm gonna go ahead and link to my video that I just did on vinyl records in the end card. So if you wanna see kind of a similar video, definitely go check that out. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.